Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can create or how you can calculate the count ifs, sum ifs or average if. In the previous video I just talked about a one condition but here how you can specify multiple condition. Well in, if you are looking for scenario like those then this video is something you can utilize. And before I move ahead just a quick information that uh, this sheet which is the live Google sheet and the link for this sheet is present in the description. That means you can use this link from the description and come to the sheet and search any of my previously posted videos. So as you can see right now I'm on 169. So you can see all of my previous videos, you know, the dashboards like sales performance, customer analytics dashboard, financial complaint dashboard, all of these and uh, based on your specific learning needs you can learn uh, based on what i've posted all right and uh, all of my future videos will also be present here in this sheet because this is the live google sheet okay with that information let me come here so if you remember from my previous video what i have done is i have used this consumer orders as if condition within calculate we are let's say taking the average in case of average if we are saying average of the value which is sales and if condition is specified here in the filter function where we are specifying within filter the table name orders and as a condition order segment is consumer so here is the customer segment but let's say we want to know uh, we have a requirement tomorrow that not just one segment but you need to have multiple segment or not just along with consumer segment you need to have let's say any specific country region or there is there are multiple like um, values for example you have region here for example over here so for example you have consumer central consumer east consumer south so if one of our need is that we want to know uh, what is basically a specific region customer then we can specify multiple condition and that's nothing but your average ifs some ifs or multi or count ifs okay so for that i will first select the consumer order uh, the consumer order field so consumer orders over here and here after this condition we have to specify the keyword which is m percent m percent that basically says n and after that the second condition the condition is that region is equals to let's say region is equals to is what central so you will see the number will change over here they will reduce okay so you have this 189, 149, 35, 206, so on and so forth. And similarly, as you would expect, you can continue adding the ampersand ampersand as an end condition and keep on adding more conditions as you do usually in the sum FS, average FS, and uh, and count FS. So for example, if I just bring in, let's say, oops, I'll press undo i think i did something unexpected here oh undo is also not coming fix this okay i just fixed this and over here let me take one more condition uh, in this case for example ship mode so you have multiple ship mode you have first class same day second class let's say you want to identify the first class so in this case again i will go to the consumer where is that consumer orders and i will say one more condition and your ship mode is equals to what first class So that way we can continue adding as much calculation as we need but just you need to make sure oops i did something wrong or what ship date huh, ship out so that you need to just make sure that uh, the more condition you are adding the more weight you are putting on the engine the click the um, power bi engine 
that means more time it needs to evaluate your condition if it is absolutely necessary do it i mean if if it is not then try it with minimum calculation as possible so that's mainly i wanted to show you as to how you can specify multiple condition within power bi for the uh, sum fs or average fs or count fs now this is about the end condition but if you see in the excel you have end function and or function and basically allows you to specify multiple end condition or specify multiple specify multiple or condition so instead of ampersand you can also use the double pipe which is or which indicates or so you can have like multiple or conditions but the numbers will change accordingly and you should know how you really need to interpret these numbers because what we are saying is average sales if the segment is consumer or central or first class right and based on that the value is coming out so that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can specify multiple condition using and or using or and get the output that you were expecting well with that i want to take a leave and thank you so much for watching this video and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic